YouTube is this out here. I'm glad you guys could join us again. I've had a lot of questions here recently. I had a you know the glue video up, a Mercury Adhesives, a great company, and and then I did a little glider video. Well, I've been waiting on some stuff to get here, and my email is just getting blown up saying, "Where's the quads at? Where's the quads at?" So anyhow, I figured I'd do a short little video here. Just to show you guys, my subscribers, you know, you guys are the ones that make this all possible. Um, wanted to show you guys what all is coming up here. So we're going to go through a list of, of what I currently, currently got in the mail and what the agenda is here for about the next month and a half, two months, and what's coming up. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be coming up with, and this is going to be coming really, really quick, guys, probably in the next 24 hours, is you know i've been a big fan of this uh run cam micro swift um here at tomo quads we do a lot well tomo does a lot of designs that are micro oriented and and you know that's kind of the bread and butter here at tomo quads is making the smallest fastest most wicked frames that they can possibly be done but anyhow we love this camera because it's so small and it does you know just everything from low light in the evening when you're past that twilight stage and, and you want to be out there flying and other cameras won't let it let you do that and it does it in a very, very lightweight form. So we've always been a big fan of the Micro Swift. So the other day, Runcam sent me this. This is the Runcam. Let's see if you can get a look at that there. The Runcam Micro Swift 2. So this has got a bunch of new features to it, and that's going to be the first review. And I think this is actually going to be the main camera for our up-and-coming micro, spelled with a K, from Tomo Quads, the Micro 2 frame. And that's a 95-millimeter frame, 2-inch. So perfect. Like, Runcam couldn't have nailed the timing any better and to have sent a Micro Swift 2 to go on the Micro 2 from Tomo Quads. So that's coming up. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cam, we're going to replace the Swift on there for testing purposes, and we're going to take a look at the Micro Swift 2 because it's got all kinds of new features. So that's going to be coming up here in the next day or two at the most. You know, while we're on the, the topic of the Tomo Quads Micro 2, um, these were sent from Emacs. These are the new RS1106s from Emacs that are just coming out. And I know some of you guys have joined the channel because I did the Baby Hawk review and some Baby Hawk stuff. And now what we're going to do is see the Baby Hawk is perfect. As you can see it there in the background, um, it is perfect for the Micro 2. I've had a lot of requests um, to do 4S with that and i wanted to just completely upgrade it at this point so the baby hawk guts for all you guys out there that got baby hawks and you're ready to step it up a little bit the micro 2 from tomo quads is going to be a beast of a little frame and you can take everything out of the baby hawk and then add in the emax rs 1106 and these come in three different KV versions. We're going to go with the 4500 KV because this is 4S rated. Yeah, you heard me right. 4S rated. So we're going to take, I've already, and if you watch my channel, you know that I've already got here, I've already got the uh, 12 amp ESCs in there. So we're going to take all of that minus the motors over to the Micro 2, Emacs 1106, 4500 KV. Rocking the 4S, that's going to be one heck of a build. So a big shout out to Emacs for sending the motors. Can't wait to see what these things are like. I am sure that they are just going to be absolutely beastly on 4S with the Baby Hawk uh, guts and, and the Micro 2. I guess we could have almost called this like a mail show because... You know, this is all stuff that uh, some great people out there have been sending to support the channel and get tested. And next thing up is we're going to take the XBL2. I know I've got a bunch of you guys out there that have built the XBL2. And I appreciate you guys you know, tuning in and watching and for all your comments. And some of you guys have told me how 
you saw the video and you just went, had to go have the XPL2. I totally understand that. But I had uh, a friend that I met over at Flight Fest. His name is Frank Ferguson, and he's a heck of a pilot, and he's also a uh, distributor for Racecraft Props. So he sent me a whole bunch of different props to test, and we got some of their three inch props that we're going to test on the XBL2. And if you would like to check his shop out, they have really great deals on Racecraft Props, and he's also adding other companies too but you can get a bunch of killer racecraft props there for a really good price and his website is tankfpv.com so check him out we're going to put the three inch on racecrafts on the xpl2 we're going to give them a try and then racecraft is also releasing a 3070 somewhere around in there i think and that's so that's even that's just a crazy pitch I mean, we're talking like boat motor prop pitch. So that's going to be coming up here down the road also. And check the site out. You're looking for racecraft props. We're going to have some reviews on that stuff too coming up. And check out his site, tankfpv.com, and pick yourself up some props. So as soon as we get done with the Tomo Quads Micro 2, this little guy is coming up right after that. And this is the Tomo Quads Little Predator X racing frame. This is a 90 millimeter frame, and we're gonna run 1106s on it also, but we're gonna go 3S. Uh, the frame put together on this little beast is 17 grams, and it's just gonna be an awesome little ripping quad too. So we're gonna go from the Micro to the Little Predator X, and then, we're going to move, get moving towards the Punisher because Run Cam also sent me a Run Cam split. So any of you guys that are, you know, interested in getting ready for the Punisher, because you know that's coming up, keep an eye out for a review coming very soon on the Run Cam split too, because it's going to fit. We're actually designed the Punisher around the Run Cam split, and Run Cam was gracious enough to send us one of those to test in the build and, and, and work out all of that. So that's one of the parts that you can get ready for the Punisher. Real quick, you know, you guys heard me talking about the Punisher. What is the Punisher? The Punisher is going to be a frame that kind of has to do with the disc loading thing. Um, it's going to be a 68 gram frame. It's a little bit more beefy than like the floss, but not by much but just enough so that it doesn't, it's not as fragile as the floss, but it's not gonna take away from the performance of it. And it's gonna have interchangeable arms. You can run four inch and you can run five inch props on it. And I haven't even, I got a couple different ideas on motors. So, because since we're gonna be doing a four inch and a five inch prop set up on the different arms, I think that I might go with two different kinds of motors because the four inch right now is kind of making a comeback especially in that really lightweight class. And we're finally starting to get some killer props in the four inch section. So that's gonna be very, very interesting. So I think we're probably gonna do right now, I'm leaning towards when the Punisher gets here, doing a whole motor set for the four inch and then a whole different motor set for the five inch so that we can get both ends of that spectrum and push that frame to the absolute limit. And that's what it's designed to do. So anyhow guys, i just wrap this up and keep an eye out because the Micro Swift 2 from Run Cam will be up here in the next couple of days. And I just want to say thanks to everybody for your tremendous support. You know, we've just been overwhelmed here at RC Saint Asylum and Tomo Quads. You know, Run Cam showing their support and Emacs showing their support and, and Racecraft sending some props. And just, it's just been the comments, the emails. Thanks, guys. We really, really appreciate it. And if you like what we're doing here, always stop by, leave a comment. You got any questions? Those of you that are subscribers, you know that I go the extra mile for my subscribers. If you have any problems, I will be there 100% every second that I can possibly be to help you guys get through anything. But all right, guys, keep tuned on the channel. Sewed out from Tomo Quads. Peace. Happy flights.